Here we have a Pinacate beetle. I think that's the correct pronunciation. Uh, genus is Eliodes. And they're sometimes called the, um, uh, something like gymnast bug, something like that, because they stand on their head. What they're actually doing is getting ready to spray you. The uh, Pinacate beetle has a noxious spray. It smells pretty terrible. When it feels threatened, it'll stand on its head like this, and then if it gets really nervous, it'll spray you. Um, they're beetles, so they eat scuzz, anything they find, uh, dried plant material, smaller bugs, rotting stuff. I think they prefer rotting stuff. They typically live in burrows that uh, other creatures make. And uh, let's see, it's beginning of November, so it's getting kind of late in the season for beetles. So it's quite a treat to find this guy. We're actually in Whitman, Arizona right now. It's uh, northwest of Phoenix. It's pretty dead out here, but this guy's trooping around. I think he's starting to calm down a bit. We were taking pictures and he got excited. Let's see if I can poke him. See how he goes in a de defensive mode. Hope the sun isn't like too much in the way. Let's get a shot at the business end. Yep. Hope he doesn't spray my camera. So I think the uh, family is Tenebrianae day. I'll have to look that up. I'm pretty bad at remembering stuff like that. See little spikes on his legs? Probably uses those for defense too. And, uh, get a look at the antenna here. Oh, it's on the move. Um, I believe Tenebriana Day has 11 segments to the antenna typically. So that would be a good way to tell. Alright, that's about it. Say goodbye, little buddy.